plug into the first term only one time. Then subtract this part just one time. Then take the limit. As n goes to infinity, this is going to give us 0. So finally, the answer is just 1 over 3. Alright, in this video, I will show you guys the quickest way to do telescoping series. And we'll do six examples. The first one is the series as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2. This is the telescoping series because the first and the second term, they are of the same kind, but they are just off by some values. Here you see we have n, here we have n plus 2. So they are off by 2. In that case, we are going to do the following. First, starting with n equals 1, plug into here. So we will have 1 over 1. And then because they are off by 2, so you are going to do it again. So when n is equal to 2, put it here, and then we are going to add it. So these are the first two things that we have. Now, notice we have two things in the front. We also have to have two things at the end that we are subtracting. Starting with this term, just write it down as how it is. Minus 1 over n plus 2. And again, because they are off by two terms, at the end here, we also need to subtract two terms. Its previous term is just what? n plus 1. So we have to subtract that right here. Two terms in the front, two terms at the end. And then what we are going to do is, this is actually the nth partial sum formula for this infinite series. And we just have to take the limit as n goes to infinity, and we can figure this out. Have a look. When n goes to infinity, this, just 1 over infinity, goes to 0. Likewise, that also goes to 0. So all in all, we just have to do 1 plus 1 half. And that will give us a nice number, 3 half. Done. Now for number 2. Here we have 2 to the 1 over n minus 2 to the... Now for number 2. Here we have 2 to the 1 over n minus 2 to the 1 over n plus 2. So they are off by 2. And we'll do the same thing that we did earlier. Starting with n equals 1, put in here. So we get 2 raised to the 1 over 1 power. And then do it again. So we add 2 raised to the 1 over when n is 2, put it here. Then we are going to subtract two terms at the end, right? Put this down right here. So we have minus 2 raised to the 1 over n plus 2. And then it's previous term, which is just reduce this by 1. So minus 2 raised to the 1 over n plus 1. And then this will give you the nth partial sum formula. Just take the limit as n goes to infinity. Here be careful though. When the limit n goes to infinity, this right here is approaching 0. Likewise, this exponent here also approaches 0. But make sure you do 2 to the 0 and also 2 to the 0. So we will get 2 to the first plus 2 to the 1 half and then minus 2 to the 0 and then minus 2 to the 0. 2 to the 0 is just 1. 2 to the 0 is just 1. So here we just have 2 plus 2 to the 1 half is the same as square root of 2. And then this right here, minus 1, minus 1. So 2 minus 1 minus 1, they cancel out. And we just have square root of 2. Done. Now for number 3. Here we have inverse tension of n minus inverse tension of n plus 1. They are off by one term. So to begin, just go ahead and put down this number into the first term one time. So we get inverse tangent of 1. That's all we need. And then at the end here, we'll just have to subtract this term one time, one term. So minus inverse tangent of n plus 1. Then we take the limit as n goes to infinity. Now, when we have n goes to infinity, inverse tangent of infinity plus 1 is just infinity. Inverse tangent of infinity, that's the horizontal asymptote of the inverse tangent. That gives you pi over 
2. And inverse tangent of 1, hmm, tangent of pi over 4 gives you 1. So this right here gives you pi over 4. So this becomes pi over 4 minus pi over 2. And of course, get our common denominator. Let's multiply this by 2 and this by 2. So we get 4 on the bottom, 1 pi minus 2 pi, we get negative pi, and that's the answer, negative pi over 4. Now for number 4, series as n goes from 2 to infinity, ln of n over n plus 3. And you might be thinking, this doesn't look like a telescoping series. We don't even see a subtraction, right? But don't worry, ln of a quotient is in fact the difference of two lns. So let's rewrite that. So here's the series, n goes from 2 to infinity, and then we will have ln of the first, and then minus ln of the bottom right here, so plus 3. Now how does this look like? Yes, telescoping. This time they are off by 3. So we are going to start off by putting down the 2 right here, ln 2. That's the first number. Now the second number, put it here, which is ln 3. And then do it one more time, ln 4. So this is what we need from the first part. Now we are going to subtract, starting from here, and then we need to subtract three terms. Let's go ahead and put this down, minus ln of n plus 3. And then it's previous term, so just minus 1 here. So minus ln n plus 2. And then subtract one more time, that's n plus 1. Yeah. And then take the limit as n goes to infinity. This time though, be super careful. As n goes to infinity, this right here is infinity, this right here is infinity, this right here is also infinity. Ln of infinity is infinity. So we are subtracting an infinity from here, another infinity from here, and then one more infinity from here. This right here is just finite. They have no chance against minus three of these infinities. So all in all, we end up with negative infinity. Yeah? And of course, you can just say this right here diverges. Now for number five, here we will have to do partial fractions. Because we notice that this right here can be factored, and then we will factor it as n plus 1 times n plus 2. Try to put down the bigger number second, just like this. Then we are going to set up our partial fraction. We will have some number over n plus 1, I will call that number a, and then we add it with some other number b over the second denominator. Now, to figure out a and b, we can use the Kafka method. So, a is actually going to be the following. Here we have the denominator n plus 1. We go back to the original and cover the same denominator. But you have to ask yourself, how can we make n plus 1 to be 0? The answer is n should be negative 1. So I'm going to plug in n equals negative 1 into that. So we get 1 over negative 1 plus 2. And then work this out, we will just get 1. So a is equal to 1. Now for b, we are going to do the same thing. It has a denominator n plus 2, so we go back to the original, cover the same denominator. To make n plus 2 0, n has to be negative 2. And then we will put negative 2 into that n. This has been covered up already, so it's no longer there. So we get 1 over negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. So b is negative 1 here. Now as you can see, this right here is indeed a telescoping series. right? This minus that, and they are off by one term. So we will start with this n value, plug it into the first term only one time. So we get 1 over 2 plus 1. Then we are going to, remember this right here is a subtraction, subtract this part just one time. 
Then take the limit as n goes to infinity. As n goes to infinity, this is going to give us 0 because we get 1 over infinity. So finally, the answer is just 1 over 3. Now for number 6. First, let's factor the denominator. We will get 2n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. Then we are going to proceed by doing partial fraction. So we get the series, n goes from 2 to infinity, sum number a over 2n minus 1 plus sum number b over 2n plus 1. And to figure out a and b, we can use the Kafka method. A is going to be, because it has 2n minus 1 for its denominator, go back to the original, cover the same thing. But we have to think about 2n minus 1 equal to 0, how can we make this true? Well, n has to be 1 half. So we have covered this, this up already. Then we are going to plug in 1 half into this n. So we get 1 over 2 times 1 half plus 1. That's just going to be 1, so we have 1 plus 1, so 1 over 2. Now for b, do the same thing. We have 2n plus 1, so in this case, n should be negative 1 half. We cover this, and then we put negative 1 half into that n. So we have 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1. This is negative 1, minus 1, we have negative 1 half. So a is 1 half, and b is negative 1 half. There is that subtraction to make this telescoping. But notice, both of them have 1 half as a factor. We can factor that out, put that in front of the summation symbol. So we are looking at 1 half, and let me just write down the summation again. And then we have the 1 half in the front already. This is 1 over this denominator. And then here is actually a minus. And then we have 1 half in the front already. And then we have 1 over this denominator. Now, the tricky part right here is that we have to figure out 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. How many terms are they off by? Is it 2? Because it looks like going from negative 1 to 1 is like go up by two times? The answer is no, it's actually one term only. Let me show you why. Let's say this right here is our formula, right? So I'll call that bn. So bn is 1 over 2n minus 1. In fact, to get this, we just have to do bn plus 1, which is just the next term. Because you see, when we have bn plus 1, we put that right here. We get 1 over 2 times n plus 1 and then minus 1. This is just 2n plus 2 and then minus 1. Aha! 1 over 2n plus 1. So in fact, this and that, they are off by one term. So you have to look at the input, the input of the n and n plus 1 they're off by one term. Do not look at the subtraction right here. Earlier, all those right here, because they didn't have coefficients, so it was easy right here. It's a little bit trickier. Now, we can do the quick way for this telescoping series. This one half is still all the way in the front, so write that down. And start with two. Put that down right here one time, because they're off by one term only. So one over two times 2 and then minus 1. That's all we need. Then we are going to subtract this only one time. Minus 1 over 2n plus 1, right? Just subtract one term over there. Then take the limit. n goes to infinity. Here, as n goes to infinity, this goes to 0. 1 divided by infinity, right? So on all, this is 1 half times 1 over 3, which will give us 1 over 6. And that is how you do telescoping series the fast way.